Okay, welcome to my channel. I just got a U console. I ordered this about a year ago. Um, I say about a year, like 10 months. It was October. Um, and we're gonna unbox this. I am so excited for this right now. Just, I've been waiting for so long to get this thing. Holy crap. We got a manual. I got the black one. It seems like it was a little delayed because of that. Oh man, this is cool. First thought, the paint looks really good. Some people were having issues with, I think, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that was kind of off center or not straight. This looks really good though keyboard right here. I think I'm going to take these out as compartments. I can't really use it today. I don't have the right batteries for it. I have ordered them, but they won't be here until either tomorrow or well, to, well me filming this, it's Tuesday, so Wednesday or Friday. Man. You get like everything in pieces. You got the board there. I got the 4G model. I don't even know how I'm gonna use that. I, I, I've heard it's pretty slow. <laughs> we got the CM4. Hopefully, getting a CM5 soon. They say it's compatible, so we will find that out when that comes out. See, this is my issue: is that I got I have 18650s, but I don't know if they'll fit in here. I'm going to go grab them real quick. Okay, so I, almost a year ago, 10 months ago, I ordered these thinking that I would get this in 90 days. <laughs> that didn't happen. And then I saw online that there's a certain length to these. And these have like the built-in charger. I don't know if you guys can see that. So they're a little longer than a normal 18650. Mm, looks like they do fit. They do in fact fit. I might be able to use this today. Okay, all right, nice. All right, so should we start building it? Oh, I forgot the back is silver. I thought the back was black too. I guess not. I could have sworn that this piece was black. All right, I'm guessing this here is the frame. Oh, that is nice. And I did see you can get expansion boards here that, that replace the 4G with uh, extra USB ports. That is something that I would want to do too, because if if it's what people say and this thing's not not fast, then I don't see a point in using it. But yeah, that is really cool. It's really cool. Let's see. Here we got the main board. There should be an adapter card that the CM5 goes into. Yes. Right there. All right, cool. So, should I just build this thing now? I will probably build it now and then cut to later when I'm done and then we'll try to turn it on.
Hey everyone, uh, I'm back. It's been a couple days since you guys saw me build this thing. Um, I have a couple things to talk about. Uh, I've been using it kind of like in bed, just like as another computer secondary device. Um, we'll start off by taking this off. This is a 3D printed, you know, plate to the to protect the screen. Uh, you can find that online. I'll probably put it in the description for you guys. And I have to say, I have a few things I like about this and I have a few things I don't like. I feel like there's way more things I like about it than dislike. And I will start with the antennas. Having them exposed like that really scares me. And then on top of that, the Wi-Fi isn't really good. Um, as you can see, I got this booted up and it's disconnected from my Wi-Fi. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but... Yeah, it, it, it just disconnects and reconnects. It's really weird. I even tried on the OS that they include in the box, which is an older version of Raspbian. And, you know, I, after having some issues with it, I said, okay, let me check the website. Maybe there's a newer version. And there's a community build that's on the forum. I will probably link that in the description for you guys. Um, that is, I, th I think it's the latest version of Raspbian. And it works better in terms of the OS and functionality and like when you press volume here uh, Where is the volume? It actually di displays that on screen the the original OS didn't do that So stuff having stuff like that is amazing compared to the original one. So if you get one of these definitely Download the latest version from the forum um, So that was my first gripe My second gripe is this trackball. It feels very strange when you're trying to navigate across the screen, like you have to like flick your finger a lot. I, I've i seen on the Discord group that most people just buy a different trackball and just swap it out. Like for, I think it's from a Blackberry or something and that fixes a lot of that issue. Um, the keyboard is fine, but the backlight is not great. If you're in a pitch black scenario, it's fine, like you can kind of see the illumination, but there's only like five LEDs or six LEDs on this thing and they're spaced out so far that only portions of the keyboard light up. So if it's like not super dark, but dark like sunset, you're screwed. Like you're gonna, it's gonna be a tough time looking at that. Again, not a big deal. The keyboard's great, I like it, but the backlighting is meh. Glad they even included that though. I gotta say, I'm glad that's there. Um, what else? Uh, I don't think there's any more negatives. Uh, positives, the build quality. This thing feels amazing. I love this thing. I couldn't let it go. Like I was in bed using this to just browse the web and installing anything I could think of. Uh, and I love it. Like it feels comfortable. It's chunky. It feels well-made. That's awesome. Like that, I don't know, that's just freaking great. The battery life has been amazing ever since I switched. These batteries that I had in, in the beginning of this video work, they fit, but they would not last long. They would just, I think it was like a couple hours. With Samsung cells, this thing lasts hours, depending on what you're doing. If you're watching videos, probably like, I'd say, the last time I was doing that, like four hours. But if you're just like using terminal or surfing the web, you can get a lot of hours out of this. And you can plug it in the type C, charges, no problem. That's freaking great. Um, what else? Uh, what else is there? I do, for some weird reason, I do like that these are the mouse buttons. Maybe because it's easier to navigate with the trackball. It kind of works. The only thing with the trackball is that glide. Like, it, like I said, you have to like, really work to move it across the screen i'm not one of those people who who is gonna say hey like i wish there was a touch screen on this because realistically i don't care everything is so small on this device that having a touch screen would be so frustrating to use anyways that i'm happy that there's some sort of mouse you know like something like this i just could they have improved on the trackball yes would I've liked if they used like some sort of a, like, I don't know how to, you know, the tracking nubbin from like ThinkPads, that probably would have been nice. I like this, could be better. Um, let me see the back of the device. 
Yeah, all of this was nice to set up. I haven't used the 4G yet, so I don't know. The antenna for it's right there, by the way. I haven't used it. I don't know how fast it is or slow. Um, I have seen on the Discord it's really slow, so I might get rid of that and just put Type-C card there whenever they come back in stock because those are all gone. They're made by an individual on, uh, I think the website's TMD or something like that. Um, but yeah, this thing is great. Uh, I definitely recommend if you buy this device to try the community builds of the OSs. There's Parrot, Kali Linux. Uh, there's a test version of Pop OS. I don't know if it works well, but, and then there's the, upda the updated Raspberry OS, Ras Raspbian. This is the best one, just straight out of the gate. Um, I will be printing out that Wi-Fi antenna mount so I can have a proper antenna. And I wanna see how that works and I will get back to you guys on that. And I really appreciate it if you guys give me a thumbs up and a subscribe and I will be making more videos just like this soon. See you guys.